hello everyone in today video we will learn how to configure the host name time zone configuration management ip dns server and tp server and all the operation in this palo alto firewall to configure the host name we need to go under device setup and management under management we can see the general string then click on this gear icon so here we can we can see the host name so to configure the host name we can give a name pa firewall and then we have uh, we have an option to configure the login banner so you can also configure a login banner also for for your company so here we can configure welcome to pa firewall learning and next we can configure the time zone time time zone so to configure we need to click here and then we can configure your time zone so currently i'm in india so i'll select asia kolkata and next uh, you can configure the time what is the current time so it is 21 i can configure the 21 and the time will be uh, it, it will be 10 25 so i'll select 10 26 00 and then click on ok So after making these changes, we have to commit, then click on the commit. now commit is successful so we'll verify what we, uh, like what whatever changes we have done so we'll verify then to verify the host name you can click on the dashboard so now under dashboard you can see the device name so here device name is pa firewall and then you can verify the timing so here you can see uh, now we can see the september 21 and the all the timing and next uh, now we are going to learn how to configure the management ip address so to configure the management ip address you use you need to click on the device setup and then we have a we have a type here interfaces so click on that here we have management click on this so currently we are getting ip address from the server but if you want to configure and like a static IP address, then you have to click on IP type, give the any IP address. Uh, for example, you can give 192.168 and 184.123 or 126. And then you can define the subnet mask and default gateway of your network. After that, you can click on OK. So I'm not going to configure any static IP address because I will lose the connection. So, uh, I, so that's why I will not use any static IP address. So, but if you want to configure, you can follow these steps. And next, uh, we'll cover the all the services means how to configure the DNS server IP address. So to configure the DNS server IP address, you need to click on services then under services you can uh, you can see the services and then click on this gear icon so here we have the dns setting under dns setting you can define your your network primary dns server ip address and secondary dns server ip address so here i'm going to give the google dns server ip address 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And next is secondary for secondary, I am defining 4.2.2.2. Click OK. 
and i don't have any ntp server in my network but if you want you can give the your network ntp server ip address here and then click on ok okay so i'm not defining any ntp server ip address and uh, then again after making all the changes we have to commit we'll wait now commit is successful so we'll now we can see the primary dns server ip address it is a dot a dot a dot a and the secondary dns server is 4.2.2.2 so and next we are going to verify the operations so here we have five five operation in this palo alto firewall first one is revert then save load export and imp import so under revert we if you want to make any uh, like if you if you have done any misconfiguration and if you want to revert your configuration then you can simply click on click on this revert to last saved configuration so just now we have done the committed so if you have, you have make any like misconfiguration you can click on that then it will be uh, any like any previous saved configuration will be lo loaded in the firewall revert to running running configuration so uh, it will be reverted to the running configuration and next if you want to save any named configuration in snapshot for your current configuration then you can click on save named configuration in snapshot for example i am going to save this configuration with mine with uh, like not with my name maybe with the uh, Palo Alto firewall and the date 01092022. So this is for today date. So we can save it. Close. Okay. So and uh, to save your current configuration, you just need click on the save current configuration. And next we have the load load named configuration is snapshot so if you want to load any previous previous configuration then you need to click on the load named configuration for example just now we have saved uh, pa configuration so we if you want we can load the same configuration see here we can see the uh, our named configuration that is pa 21092022 so you need to click on that configuration and okay and after after loading that configuration you have to commit so all the all the named configuration will be loaded into your firewall so next we have the load uh, configuration version once uh, this commit will be completed then we'll verify the uh, load configuration version for example if uh, after making all the commit it will create an version for each and every commit and if you want to load that previous version of your loaded configuration then you can simply click on this and now you can see we have uh, made overall three committed and here we can see the date and timing if you want to load your first one configuration and first committed configuration you just need to click on that this version of this uh, configuration and ok and commit so that configuration will be loaded into your firewall so I'm not doing it but in future if anything is going wrong or if you have, if you have done any some like some misconfiguration or some mistake in your firewall or some something happened in your network then you can try to load your previous configuration and verify whether uh, your issue is getting re resolved or not so uh, now I'm not going to load this any previous configuration okay so for your knowledge I'm telling you if if anything is going wrong in your in your network or if you have done any misconfiguration you can just try to solve your problem by uh, by loading any previous version or by loading any previous committed configuration of your firewall okay and next we have export and import this is for to take the backup backup of your palo alto firewall and before like if you are going to upgrade your palo alto firewall you can export all the configuration of the firewall 
and if anything goes wrong uh, during your upgrade then after after upgrade you can import import your previous configuration so that's all about this uh, operation under palo alto firewall and next video will uh, will cover basic uh, user how we can create the user in the palo alto firewall and what are the administrative roles and what are the access we can provide that user that we will cover in the next video thanks for watching